because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just love The world awaits to receive you. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all know I love that intro. And yes, you're here with your host, Lashley, also known as Grace Levi for Uncensored Enlightenment Talk on Sundays. And yes, you know how we're going to do it. We're going to bring celebrity gossip from an enlightened perspective, as well as international updates, United States updates. You know, we're going to always have some updates for you and a little bit of conspiracy the things that we find out to not be conspiracy we have a whole lot to share with you tonight i think so moving forward now we're going to get into some celebrity news if you care we're going to do it because some people really care okay and they do these people are human as well i don't look at celebrities as oh my god but i look at them like they're people that we can learn from and especially because their situation is on a public platform we can all evaluate it talk about it and learn okay so as you know this ysl case is still going on and it's going on in atlanta okay now we want to keep you up to date but the person who is doing the best up to date uh, sequence on the ysl case is lawyer for workers on instagram please follow him we have put up some videos about ysl case and all of the drama one of the main things that is really really crazy about this ysl case is that the length of of the case allegedly because they have over 300 witnesses as you've seen a couple of weeks ago we talked about the witness who was doxxed by somebody, by their actual uh, interview coming out that they had with the cops. So obviously somebody close to the police station out here in Atlanta doxxed the witness. And that makes other witnesses afraid. So there's a lot of developments with this YSL case. But currently the YSL lawyer, like, baby, we're going to have to walk away. My first question is, why... Do he have a public defender? I don't know. <laughs> Baby, are, where's the money? You're the rapper. Where's the money? You see, you can't be out here perpetrating like you got everything and now you're in a situation. You got a public defender or whoever this is. Let's get it to it because I think it, it is. It's a public defender. I knew I was telling the truth. So YSL case attorney wants out over egregious low trial wages okay because this thing is going to go on for years this lady is going to be wrapped up in this okay some of the appointed defense attorneys in the uh young slim life that's his name i suck i just know why sell his name is young slim life okay game trials <laughs> that is ridiculous y'all know i'm an old lady but I'm in tune. Okay. Gang trial says that they aren't getting paid enough uh, enough to properly represent their client. Attorney Angela D. Williams, who represents uh, Rod Rodriguez Ryan, submitted a mo uh, motion. That's his name? Rodriguez? Rodriguez? I'm saying his Rodriguez. Please tell me how to pronunciate that name, but we're going to call him YSL. Submitted, yeah, YSL submitted a motion this week's asking to withdraw from the case, calling the pay egregiously, ridiculously, tremendously. No, she didn't say all of that, but egregious is a big word. Low for the amount of work and attention this trial requires. She and the attorney Justin Hill and Soraya Chatty were appointed by the Georgia Public Defenders Council to represent three of the 14 defendants facing the trial in the sweeping gang case rapper Y Young Thug and his alleged associates. Okay, so they have three working together. How many they said? Three for the for all these people. 
And then you had a case with Cardi B. She probably had six lawyers up there. Let me stop. No, I think Tasha's case says she had a few lawyers up there. She probably had more than three. And they were all, I have seen it. I have seen it. Even when I went to traffic court, it was me against two public defendants. I was like, damn, two? Oh, shit. I gotta figure this out. Two brains. This is what they'll do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so crisis in Georgia, public defender system, fuse cases, backlog, jails overcrowded. So this is another issue. But we just talked about the funky jails that we just talked about at Greasy's jails are overcrowded. Public defenders are needed. Cases are backed up in Georgia. And the population is growing continuously. I'm just telling you now, I'm about to move out. Okay, I can that's a whole nother story. It's too many people here. It's like I'm back in New York. Y'all know I'm from, from the city. I'm like, damn, we came out here as a city. So this is what's fueling this as well, this current issue. They are being paid $15,000 each to represent their client at the trial, regardless of how long that might take. 15? That's like less than, a th that's like $1,000 $1, a month. So, oh my God, that's not, that's not good enough. That's not good enough for this trial. To be honest, I could make more money working at Chick-fil-A as a cashier, said the hill. Oh, she disrespectful. Who, who has to put other cases on the background to focus on the Fulton County gang and racketeering charge? Look at this guy. Look at him. It ain't all what it's cracked up to be, right? I'm sorry. I'm not making fun of him, but you thinking about it now. Hill said his initial acceptance of the case for $7,500, but that his pay was doubled because the, the trial is extended to at least nearly a year. That's nothing for this type of trial. I'm thinking it's about to get to the 500000 They paying them peanuts. Oh, wow. Even with the pay increase, Hill said that he will have thought twice about taking this on he had known that how long it would consume okay so for at least a year worth of full-time work that's essentially less than minimum wage said it, hill <laughs> who represented the defendant um diamond bullock we're basically in court all day every day so i can't do much for my other cases that's all has to be done on night and the weekends Hill and solo practitioner said he has no intention to withdraw from YSL case, but the amount of work required from his limited lim, limits his ability to take on new clients and support himself financially. Damn. Wow. Well, one of the guys said that they would, they don't want to drop the case because he knows it's an important case. And if he beat this case, this racketeering case, he's going to be a star. But he said he can't even take his family financially fifteen thousand dollars is nothing especially if you have to wrap all your time into this this is ridiculous so d williams says she has been trying to meet with the di director of the georgia public defender council to discuss further compensation as jury selection drags into further month so there's still in jury selection as we know and that was the last update by lawyers for work because he's like well that's all i can tell you because they have uh, jury selection and we have people that's trying to just eliminate everybody and they have all of these witnesses to interview so it's a whole lot going on a spoke and discovery that has to be exchanged amongst the defense defense and the prosecutor because they're going to want to know okay you got to know what, what they about to put out there so you can defend yourself because that's how court works okay so in recognition of all the unique circumstances around the YSL case, we also give the uh, the a one-time supplement doubling that amount, Thomas O'Kerr told the AJC. AJC. So just talking about a little bonus. We are exploring means to provide them with additional compensation if possible. At the start of the YSL case, folks realized it was it would be complex and somewhat lengthy, but I didn't think anybody anticipated that they still be in jury selection as of April, he, he added. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 
D. Williams said she feels horrible about having to withdraw from the case, having bonded with her client while sitting together in court. And she says the low pay sends a message. If you are poor and you are charged with RICO, you are probably going to be sitting in jail without your Sixth Amendment right to an attorney because people will probably not take the case. Wow. So to all my people out there that's out there doing some type of um, criminal organization, this don't only have to do with drugs. Racketeering can be applied to any type of criminal organization, laundering money, scamming. Um, they they probably try going to try to apply it to Trump one day. <laughs> All types of shit. They're going to run this racketeering abstract, you know, a uh, charge as far as it could. So as you see, guys, young black community, if you trying to do a little chewy dewy banger, you know, organization, we may need you to think it over and do something that's legal do that type of organization. Okay. So, um, just to close off most criminal defenses in Georgia, roughly 85% are too poor to pay for their own defense lawyers and rely on the state appointed attorney, but the state public defender systems in uh, inability to hire and retain so-called conflict lawyers has left hundreds of people charged with crimes across Georgia with no one representing them. That's why I just be like, and I'm going to represent myself. Represent myself. Let me stop. And no, I'm not stopping. I represent myself. If I'm going to learn whatever they're trying to charge me with, usually some stupid ass traffic thing. And I'm going to figure out how to talk to this uh, mm, prosecutor and move forward. But uh, in some cases, especially out here in Georgia, they basically running a freight train on people, okay? Because they know people don't know how to communicate with the lawyers. They intimidate the clients. They say, oh, it's a misdemeanor. It's going to give you jail time. You're like, oh my God, misdemeanor. And these things not probably even supposed to be misdemeanors in other states. Especially we have people coming from the North. They're doing things that they don't consider misdemeanors. In, in, in Jersey, you can run lights, do stuff and here? No, no, no. Do it once or twice. You're going to jail. You're going to jail. Misdemeanor. So I just want to tell you that this is the circumstances in Georgia outside of the YSL case. Okay. And YSL, Young Thug and all, I don't understand. Why, why do they have public defenders? This highlights what we talk about. The rappers ain't rapping no more. Meaning that they ain't bringing in the bucks that they showing. That's that's when I say the stuff like that. All of it is a facade, y'all. I tell my kids, IG is fake. It ain't real. It's like, I know it's not real. So why are you trying to be like them then? Why? Why? The real estate market often seems like a distant world where only an elite of experts is successful. In a time of so much uncertainty in the air and bad news, realist investing can seem intimidating. But today, I want to tell you that if you make the right decision today, you can enter the real estate market from the back door. Bad credit record? No credit at all. Do you dread the idea of having a home loan? Do you dream of owning investment properties? You are in the right place and right time because we have created a program which is a tax lien and deed investment online course of only 14 hours. This course is specially designed for people like you who have big dreams you will learn at your own pace and everything from your home computer. This is your chance. Join our membership for $19.99 a year. What are you waiting for? Visit our website primetimehomebuyerbuyback.org and sign up today for course access.